الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى علي وصحبه وسلم أما بعد I hope it's a This is the third uh, جلسة or sitting in our sittings about uh, sittings من uh, you know talking about the methodology and عقيدة of أهل السنة والجماعة because there's a lot of people who have misconceptions, and then they claim to be from Ahl Sunnah, they claim to be Salafi, they claim to be this, and some people who reject the term Sal- Salafi and the Salafi Minhaj or what have you. Uh, so there's so much controversy. And, you know, this goes back to the uh, <clears throat> Hadith of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi wa ala wa ala alayhi wa sallam, in which he said, Asami'i wa ta or he said, Isma wa ati' la, Asami'i wa ta He said, أَتَّقُوا اللَّهُ وَسَمْعِ وَطَاهُ When Abdin Habashi فَإِنَّهُمْ مَنْ يَعِيشْ مِنْكُمْ بَعْدِي فَإِنَّ مَنْ يَعِيشْ مِنْكُمْ بَعْدِي فَسَيَرَى إِخْنْ كَثِيرًا They will see many differences. And then the Prophet ﷺ said, فَعَلَيْكُمْ بِسُنَّتِي وَسُنَّتُ الْخُلَفَاءَ رَاشِدِينَ الْمَحْدِيِينَ عَذُوا عَلَيْهَا بِنَّ وَاجِدْ وَإِيَّاكُ the Prophet Sallallahu said, Hear and obey the Muslim authority. Uh, when Abdin Habashi, you know, he said, Fear Allah and, uh, and obey the Muslim ruler, even if it is an Ethiopian slave. And he said, For verily, those who live after me will see many differences. And then he said, Gave us the prescription of that. He said, He said, It's upon you, my sunnah, and the sunnah of the rightly guided Khulafa Rashidin al Mahdiin, the rightly guided Khalifat, meaning Abu Bakr, Umar, Uthman, and Ali, radiallahu ta'ala, and Majma'een. So that he let us know we'd see these differences, and we see so many differences about a lot of these issues, and people who want to speak about the authorities and claim they're from Ahl Sunnah, people who now want to destroy the category of. You know, the, the whole conceptualization of Salafiyyah, they say it's a bid'ah, but, you know, they're going against all the scholars. I don't, I don't understand how someone who is small in knowledge compared to the ulama sunnah, who, 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 who accept this terminology, because this terminology is mustanid min kitab wa sunnah, wa fahim salaf. That's why the salaf, that's why we have something called the salaf. is isn't something that's contemporary that was made up, but the salaf refers to, what is it, istilahin? As a sh- uh, Sharia-based term, how where do we get this? Well, there are some nasus, and we see that the early scholars use these concepts, and they referred to the Salaf Asale, the first three generations. You find this in so many classical books. You'll find it in so many books: Ittikada, Ahl Sunnati Wal Jama'ah, the Salaf Asale, uh, and, and the Salaf Asale meaning that you're talking about the Sahaba, the Tabi'in, you know their their companions. With the Ba'atabin and though they're uh, uh, students, if you will, and so that was what we mean by the Salaf So uh, a point important question comes up. You got to excuse me, I'm trying to make these quick, and it's getting cold, so my lips are probably kind of freezing. <laughs> Is that uh, an important concept? Habatifillah. Is the concept of who is from Ahl Sunnah? Perhaps we'll, we'll save that for the next sitting. Uh, one thing I just want to m- mention is an important point, and we'll end a- uh, on that, is that is a qa'idah fiqhia that the, the scholars mention, a fiqh-based uh, principle, uh, and that is al-ibra bi haqaiq lisa bi musamiyat, is the reality of something is in its uh, substance, not in its name. So that means someone can claim that they're Salafi jihadiyya, Salafi tabliqiyya, Salafi ikhwaniyya, whatever they want to call themselves. You know, so many, or they call themselves Salafi, but the reality is, is in what they practice and understand for Islam. Do they practice and understand the minhaj of the Salaf, uh, like the Salaf Asale? Is that how they practice? Do they look at the, do they go back to the usul of itiqad of Ahl Sunnah, or are they on the usul of itiqad of Ahl Bidah? Or do they go and deviate in some of the principles of Ahl Sunnah or not? All of those things will determine if someone is from Ahl Sunnah Tibul Jama'ah. And so what we're trying to do is give you some basic precepts so you can kind of have some, uh, you know, intelligent discourse about these Messiah. And you can understand these Messiah and where they're coming from. 
It's not to get you immersed and engrossed in taking people off the sunnah or what have you. But you do need something because people always are asking, is so-and-so Salafi? Is so-and-so on the sunnah? Is so-and-so from Ahl Atha? Is someone someone from Ahl Hadith? They did this. They did a new video on this. They said this. So you need some sort of precepts. And you have to know that not everyone who claims, not every claim is Sahih. If I call this, there's a beautiful uh, little river or uh, mount i mean uh, water that's coming out of here and now it's dripping here it's coming down it goes down to the mountain it feeds a lot of the mountain if we call this a raging river that doesn't change the fact that this is nothing but a simple stream coming off the mountain even if i called it a raving raging uh river or i called it a place a, a, a honey i call it a honey trough okay that doesn't change the substance of this. This, in fact, is, we can't classify it except by what it really is. No matter what the name it is, you give it. If you call it a honey bunny, a rabbit trough, a whatever, a stream of milk, that doesn't change its substance. In fact, it is still a small stream of water that goes into the mountain. It goes in, in, through these drainage places and, you know, feeds, uh, goes into the water system in the ecosystem so that's very important because the reason i made this similitude and you know the scholars mentioned this uh, as a thick principle is because it's also applicable in aqid as many of our mashayikh and we see here it a lot from sheikh abdullah mari hafizallahu ta'ala uh one of our mashayikh ahlul sunnati wal jama'ah in yemen uh daughter hadith and shihr and so he uh, would use this principle why uh, in, in many issues of Akhida. But the point is, for example, someone claims they're Salafi, it doesn't mean they're Salafi. We ask Allah Azza wa Jal, the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, ala nabiyyina Muhammad.